Guys, it's Zorba the Geek, and today I am trying something new. So basically, every Saturday, we do this thing in our family where we cook a three-course meal, so, because I'm an only child. Well, not every Saturday. Well, not every Saturday, but we try to do it as most as we can. But uh, one of us will do the entree, one of us will do the dessert, and one of us will do the uh, appetizer. So, um, today, uh, this Saturday, I am dessert duty. And I am starting, with this I'm starting a, every Saturday that we do this, I will record, and make a video of how to cook the meal. Because normally uh, we go off of recipes. So, what are we cooking today? Mini pies! So we're making um, a mixed berry mini pies. So they'll kind of look, kind of like a, a mini muffin, but like a pie. So like kind of like a shrunken pie. So... Without much further ado, aprons on, let's get cooking. All right, so first thing you're gonna need is pie crusts, obviously. And then you're gonna need some cornstarch, some flour, some sugar, and like the main event is these wonderful berries. We got blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and I think some strawberries are probably in there, but they might not be seen yet, but yeah. So, first, uh, we're going to make the filling for the pie. So, we already have the sugar in there. And now you need two tablespoons of cornstarch. Uh, remember to level it out and be very careful. This stuff is um, a little bit messy. Um, and now, now that we got the sugar and the cornstarch mixed together, we'll put, mix that in with the berries, get that all nice and happy, and then we can move on to making the pie crust. That's this, for the stuff. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna take a crazy amount of time um so yeah make sure to mix the sugar and the uh the the cornstarch around a lot and as you can see now it's a little bit thicker um kind of looks like snow but do not make any snowmen in. out of this all right now what you're gonna do elvis get off off elvis all right so now we're going to have to mix this with the berries now you might think that we're making like a um, like we're going to That's enough, we're gonna stir cook this then. over like a stove, and make like so it makes almost Stop. like a syrup. But actually, you don't need it's 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 not gonna make like a juice at all. You're just mixing it around. Um, don't crush the berries. All right, so you want to make sure that your berries are evenly coated in the mixture of sugar and cornstarch. So they look kind of like this, almost kind of like some like candy or something. All right, so next what we wanna do is you wanna take a muffin tin and actually this works perfectly because this uh, fits 12, this 12 spaces for a muffin and the recipe calls for, sorry, did I say muffin? It calls for 12 mini pies. So what we wanna do is you wanna coat each area in some olive oil, some Pam, I use Pam, like from the office. Um, and then you wanna just, little bit in each area and I probably will be doing this you can then use a towel to kind of evenly distribute that it's not coming out as thick as it was at first and now what you can do is just even that out so see it actually looks like there's nothing in it in the first place so let's get messy so if you, as you can see we got some flour on the table and you're probably wondering, why do you have flour on the table? Why don't you have it on like a plate? Well, here's why. Because we're working with dough and dough is sticky and flour will make it not sticky. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that sucker out. Make sure it's, oh, see, it's, it's sticky. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to make the pie crust by you know, kind of like little cookies. And you're gonna save the scraps. We're gonna save the scraps. We'll be needing those for later, but I'm not telling you why. All right, so you're gonna take these and kind of squish them into the tin. It's okay if they don't fit like perfectly. You just kind of gotta, you know, massage them in like that. And yeah, it looks good. All right, so what we got here is leftover dough from uh, yeah, leftover dough. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to be able to use this dough to cut some nice strips. Because, as you know, whenever you think of pie, you probably think of the strips that are on the top. These are going to be a little too long. We'll cut them down. Think of it as them being condensed. Alright, so 
now that we've made the mini crusts, we can spoon a little bit of this fruit in. And if you could smell the berries, you would be, your mouth would be watering. And so now we got all of the mini pies filled up. So next, what we're going to do, is we're going to take all these strips and we are going to put them on. So we got the mini pies, y'all. We got the lattice dough on them. Everything's looking good. We're gonna put these in the oven. Let's see how it looks. Bam! This is what they look like now. These are the my pies. They're nice and crispy and they're probably gonna taste really good. All right, so let's try this. Got a little deformed, but it's all about the taste, right? It's um, it's a fruity. Act it as it baked. It actually did become juicy, so we didn't need to make like we didn't need to break it down ahead of time. It did that. All on film. It's sweet, it's tart, and at least this one, you know, it's like a mini pie. Oh. So, I think we did good. Um, comment if you think that we should do this again. Um, I want to make more stuff. Let's see. I might make stuff from like movies and stuff. I have a cookbook that has movie stuff from, uh, uh, earlier video I talked about. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let's see ya.